and we back now a few days ago i rebuilt the los angeles lakers after the anthony davis trade and y'all absolutely killed the like button y'all killed the views on that one it was basically my most popular video in the first 24 hours ever it was on youtube gaming trending so y'all killed it and it lets me know that y'all want to see the pelican side of this rebuild so i'm not usually one to ask for like goals or anything like that but every once in a while let's try to get it 10 grand we can do that we've done it plenty of times in the past but let's see how fast we can get it all right so the pelicans if you don't know what happened they traded anthony davis if you don't know what happened how did you end up on this video you have to at least know a little bit about hoops to end up on this channel right my boy brandon ingram got traded lonzo ball got traded josh hart got traded and they also got three first round picks i think a huge dub on their part because they got that fourth overall pick in this year's draft now there are a lot of different things this pelicans team can do they can trade that fourth overall pick, which is rumored they're trying to do. But I want to say this is not me trying to predict what they will do. I'm not trying to tell you this is what they should do. But I'm just saying if I was the GM of this team and my goal was to try to win a championship in the next four years, which is kind of unlikely in real life, um, these are the moves I would do. So I'm going to try to keep it relatively realistic. Like if I really wanted to in 2K logic, I can trade Brandon Ingram and two first round picks and get a superstar. But I'm not going to do that. All right? I want to keep this core together as much as I can and try to get them a championship together. Now, there's also a question mark around Drew Holiday. Do they want to keep him around for veteran leadership or 29 year old Drew Holiday going to talk to his age and be like, I need to go someplace where I can win now? I don't know. But we got to take it one step at a time. And the next step for us is drafting the big dog. Six, seven, two, seven, and one. Zion Williamson. That is the next thing. They comparing him to Josh Hart in 2K. I mean, not Josh Hart. Chris Bosh in 2K. That's not very close of a comparison, if you ask me. But he is going to be our pick at the number one pick. And then with that fourth pick, I don't know exactly what we're going to do. We will look to trade it, see what the options are for it. But if that doesn't work, we'll just use it. All I know is that the Pelicans fans better be coming out deep for their team this season because one thing that will be true, even if you don't win a lot of games, you will be excited. And Zion Williamson, welcome to the team, man. How did the Pelicans end up with two very, very hyped up NBA players? Anthony Davis is one of the most hyped up players out of college, and now Zion Williamson. Anthony Davis lived up to it. Now we got to see if Zion will, and that's super interesting. With the second overall pick, DeAndre Hunter went. Again, yeah, you can never really predict 2K. We know what the second overall pick, the Memphis Grizzlies, will probably go with John Morant. But it's 2K, and they think that they got Mike Conley already, so they don't need another point guard. But in real life, Mike Conley's probably going to get traded. Shout out to Shams. And Ja ends up going to the Knicks. Now, you're probably telling me, Kenny, draft RJ. Draft RJ, the fourth overall pick, but we know that's not what's going to happen in real life, right? We know RJ's going to end up on the Knicks. So this fourth overall pick, let's just trade finder it and see what's up. So after looking around, I'm going to go with Jared Culver. Fourth overall pick, Jared Culver. His draft stock has been going up a bunch as of recently. And look at his stats. He's a 77 overall already. His A minus three-point shooting will be clutch for our team because we're going to have Zion and Z Lonzo on the court together. So we need some shooting. Perimeter defense is average right now, but he's only 20 years old. Athleticism, I like it. Jared Culver, welcome to the team. Again, in real life, they may trade this pick. They may trade it with the Atlanta Hawks for the 8th and 10th pick or whatever. But I wanted that. All right. So this is our second round pick here. Should I pick up Taco just, just because? We're going to go with Taco. Just just, be, just because. He's a second round pick. So it don't matter too much. But I wanted to see what was up with Taco Fall. 7-7 seven, seven center coming to the team, baby. And these are our draft picks from this year. Let's get it. So we knew that in real life, Julius Randle declined his option because $9 million is not a lot for him because he just had a career year. He actually played really well. I do want to bring back Christian Wood. And for $1.7 million, sure, let's have Julia Ogafor back. So when we get to player progression, Drew Holiday gets a little bit worse, which is expected. I'm going to put him on the trade market and maybe we trade him right before the trade deadline or something. I just said trade so many times. But I brought in Bobby Portis to be a center of our team as of right now for a pretty small deal, two years, $18 million. But the reason I did that is because, again, when we playing alongside Zion and Lonzo Ball, you want some shooting. And Bobby Portis' three-point shot is pretty good for a center. So there it is. He's going to be starting for us off the bench. We'll have Jaleel. It's kind of weird that nobody on my team got better considering Brandon Ingram is 21. Uh, Lonzo Ball is 21. Josh Hart is 24. 24 is pretty old. But um, nobody got better? Sure, 2K. Whatever. None of my young guys 
get any better. But we're going to potential camp. I'm probably going to send Jared Cover to potential camp first because I think Zion already has superstar potential, so we don't have to send him there. And then our other guys just hope that next year they get better. So what I did do is I sent Zion to shooting camp. Oh, yeah. Zion going to develop a jump shot here. Um, but this is how our team is looking. I'm going to give Josh Hart these minutes instead of Etuan Moore because um, Josh Hart is just a little bit better in my eyes. And we're going to get Christian Woods some minutes. So this is our roster. Actually, no. What is this minutes divvy up? Why are people? No, 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 no. Let me rework these minutes. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Got my starters playing more minutes. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put Josh Hart on the trade block. Not Josh Hart. Drew Holiday on the trade block. But let's look at what his value is at the moment. Um, he's still got a pretty hefty contract, but he is good enough that I think it's possible to be traded. If we do trade him away, it'll probably be for a team that's buying. And if they're buying, they will, they're willing to give us some first round picks up. So let's actually take a look at Team Intel. The Pistons are buying, but there's nothing on his roster that I want unless they give me like two first round picks, which is a possibility. Who else? The Spurs will be interested to pair him on there because they don't have a shooting guard with Lonnie Walker the fourth being there. They got Derek White coming off the bench for some reason. So that'll be a team that'll be interested to potentially make a trade with. The Thunder can use him as shooting guard. So there are a lot of teams that are buying right now that I can help by trading them Drew Holiday, but not just yet. All right, not just yet. Even the Hawks, they picked up Chris Middleton and they really don't have a shooting guard. So if we want to get rid of Keldon Johnson or get us back Keldon Johnson to give them Drew Holiday, we can. So there are a lot of different possibilities with this Drew Holiday contract and him as a player. We can then even send him to LA because they got, oh my God, let's take a look at their roster. What did they do? They brought in Thaddeus Young, which is really unnecessary. They brought in Dwayne Dedman. I did that in my video as well. So shout out to the Lakers because Dwayne, I was going to sign Dwayne Dedman in this video too. He just fits everywhere. The dude can shoot threes. He protects the paint. That's all you want. And he rebounds well. Dwayne Dedman is a stud. They brought back Glenn Stevenson. Their team sucks, other than, of course, being very top-heavy. They didn't use their money very well. When I was the GM of their team two episodes ago, two videos ago, I did a good job. But, all right, let's just simulate. Let's see how good Zion's rookie numbers are going to be. So, I'm at the trade, Drew Holiday. We're actually playing pretty well, 19 to 15. But I want to I wanna open it up for Jer Cover because if we take a look at his numbers, he's having a pretty good season. This is off the bench. He's shooting 52%, almost 40%. <laughs> from the three we got to get this man to free throw camp 66 percent but he is playing 25 minutes but i'm ready for him to start with those young guys so we're gonna move on from drew holiday the few teams i want to test out that were buying and that was the pistons so let's see if we can take reggie jackson because he's an expiring contract i don't have to resign him um oh my god actually never mind reggie jackson's averaging 20 this season so maybe they won't even trade him those are crazy numbers for reggie jackson uh but we're we gonna still try they got OKC's first round pick. And right now, OKC's a ninth seed. Can we somehow steal two firsts from y'all? One star value? There it is. Drew Holiday trade is done. We sent them back Drew Holiday and Jaleel Ogafor, both ex players of that roster. But that is the trade. Um, I did it for the for the future assets. And those are the first round picks. So um, the 76ers get a lot better now. They got a star lineup of Ben Simmons, Drew Holiday, Kelly Oubre. Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid. I think they're going to be solid for the future, like for at least for the next couple years. So shout out to them. We made a trade. We brought in the Nance Cantu, which don't matter to me. You know, he'll get some minutes and everything. I don't want him starting, but he'll get some minutes. He's actually on fire and everything. And then Emmanuel Moutier. Um, so we don't really need Terry Rozier anymore. So that's cool. We'll take him out of the rotation. And then with a couple minutes a game, now that we're going the opposite direction, let's see how Taco Fall perform. 10 minutes a game from Taco, all right? So, I would just want to simulate one game against the Raptors to see what Taco does in this game. We lose. And in 10 minutes, four points, two rebounds, 66% from the field. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. And we won that game. Taco with 10 and 2. All right. I like it. But um, now that opens it up for Jer Cover. You can see his second official start. He puts up 19 points in his first official start. He put up 12. So, that's how things are going to go. Um, I'm just going to simulate the rest of the season. Right now, we're in the playoffs, but I don't think that's going to last after the Drew Holiday trade. Russell Westbrook won an MVP. Rookie idiot went to Zion. No, no uh, surprise there. Had a very great rookie season with us. Schroeder went six men, so he got traded. They traded Dennis Schroeder. I wonder what they got back in return, but he won six man. Um, so I don't even know who is he backing up. Who, what point guard is there now? So many things have changed. 
Giannis won defense player of the year. Most improved went to Jabari Parker. Coach Quinn Snyder wins coach of the year. Zion is all NBA, t all NBA first team, and it makes sense because we're in the playoffs. And I thought that after I would trade Drew Holiday, the playoffs would be out of the question. <laughs> but I know he did. Like I I'm gonna show y'all the settings we simulate on. And you're going to be like, how did that team make the playoffs? We got two all-rookie players. Shout out to Jared Culver again. He averaged 14. We got to get that man a free throw count, but we'll do that this offseason. Second team, rookies, those are it. We ended up being the sixth seed, which is crazy again. So, look, these are the settings we are on. The simulated settings we're on. We're even above 50%. So, I mean... I don't, I don't even know how it's possible, but we're here. We're in the playoffs, so we're going to try to win. We're going to try to win. I'm going to shorten the rotation. For y'all wondering, Taco averaged three points per game. A lot less blocks than I would like us for my 7-7 seven, seven center. But we're in the playoffs now. I'm sorry you can't get those minutes. Emmanuel Moutier is hot right now. So the Moutier trade turned out pretty good. He's playing pretty well. But I will show y'all everybody's stats because I'm sure y'all wondering how did Lonzo Ball play or how did Brandon Ingram play. So let me show y'all that real quick. Because those are important pieces to this video, at least. Here we are. So, Brandon Ingram averaged about 15 points per game. You know, a little less than last his last two years. So, that's that's not amazing. But we're in the playoffs. So, is his first playoff experience. Also, we saw Jared Culver. But Lonzo Ball is down here averaging 9 points per game and about 9 assists. So, that's a career high in assists for him, which is a good thing. But we need my guy to get his scoring up. He still shot 40%, which is not terrible. It's not good either. This is the terrible part. He shot a career high from free throw, and it's only 45%. That's my starting point guard, dog. We need to get him to free throw camp as well. Did we, were we the worst free throw shooting team in the league, for percentage-wise? Oh, no. We were the third best. I'm sorry. I thought Lonzo Ball and Jared Culver free throw percentage would have brought that down. Zion shot 72%. So, I mean, okay, everybody else shot 70 or above. First round, we're going against OKC. The Lakers are the five seed. Um, we made that trade with Philly. They end up being the three seed. But OKC, who did they trade for when they sent Schroeder out? They got back. I don't even know. Who did they? I don't understand. I mean, so the starter point guard, Darius Garland. So shout out to them for getting Darius Garland. But I don't know. I'm going to simulate this entire round to see how it goes. I don't expect us to get out of the first round. A lot of rookies, a lot of second, third year players. But you never know. We got all NBA first team players, Zion Williamson, on the roster. We lose in six, which is longer than I expected because they got the MVP on their team. All right. Let's see who wins it all. What the heck is happening? The seven and eight seed are in the conference finals, and the five and seven seed are in the conference finals. The Hawks are about to win the championship. Oh my God. They. What? The Hawks. They picked up Chris Middleton. Who else do they have on their team? Pat Bear. There it is. Defense. All defense wins championships, don't it? They got Bo Bo, Keldon Johnson, Tyler Hedo, and they won a championship. 2K is wild. Shout out to the Trailblazers for getting there. But I didn't. I don't even know what team KD even signed to. I was all out of whack on that. So let's see where he ended up. Kevin Durant plays for. Oh yeah, Kevin Durant is injured. Oh no no, he plays for. The Pacers. And he had good numbers. His overall dropped after that injury, which is a little sad. But he's still one of the best players in the league. I wonder. So the Knicks made the playoffs, and they didn't get KD. So I wonder who they They got Jimmy, Julius Randle, John Morant they drafted, Cody Zeller. Oh, they put together a pretty good team here without signing one of the top, top guys. So shout out to them. They made the playoffs. They got swept, but they made the playoffs. All right, offseason time. The 24th pick and the 21st pick. So two late first round draft picks, but that's not a terrible thing. But with our team being so young already, like our starting point guard is 22. Starting shooting guard is 21, 22, 20, and 28. So we have a very young team. And with the late 20s pick, like looking at this draft class, I may trade my late 20 picks for like a, I don't know what yet, but for somebody else. I'm going to try to trade a first-round pick for Alfred Camino, and I do. Um, because we're not going to be a team that's going to sign free agents. So if we make a trade for a guy like Alfred Camino to be one of our backup power force, I think that's a W of a trade. Um, I think he'll fit well. 
and I, I like to trade a bunch. You see, I'm smiling because Alfred Camino is going to fit right in. So we traded one of our first round picks. So we kept the second one. We have three seconds, which is interesting. I don't know what to do with three second round picks. We got more second round picks next year. Like, it's so wild that they have this many draft picks. But we're going to go into the draft and see what's up. LaMelo Ball went first overall to the Pistons. The second ball brother to officially be on the NBA rosters there. Uh, shout out to him. I think he just announced that he's going to play in Australia for the next year before the NBA draft. So shout out to him. Cole Anthony goes to the Orlando Magic. But that none of that matters to me because we have this 24th overall pick. And I'm probably just going to take best player available. Jaden Smith. He's a power forward. Jalen Smith. He's a power forward. He rebounds well. Uh, but actually, no, 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 no. I don't like that idea. This shooting guard's three-pointer, is it F from Colorado? Great rebounder. He's a shooting guard, though? That's weird. Actually, we're going to take the best guy available, 16 out of Maryland. Second round picks. Don't, I literally have no idea how we're going to do this. Do we still just take the best guy available? We have so many players on our roster right now that none of these guys will make the team. So can we package them? Is somebody going to be willing to trade me something of value? For our second round picks, no. I'm not trading you Bobby Portis. Zubak, I don't want because we already have a lot of centers anyway. JJ Barea, who's our backup point guard? Oh, no, we have a good point guard duo. I'm just going to let them auto-draft. None of those guys are going to make the roster. I'm sorry. It seems like a waste of draft picks, and it, it kind of is. But there's nothing I can really I can really do about it. Oh, and these guys are all not very good. Shout out to Marcus Howard, though. I know this name. Shout out to Marcus Howard. But everybody else I don't know, 69 overalls. Don't need them on our roster. Taco Fall, $1 million option. We're going to pick it up. He's going to be a stud eventually. Also, with Christian Woods, 24 years old, I'm going to pick up his qualifier. And this free agency starts. Anthony Davis is on the block. And he... Is he going to go to the Celtics? They traded us all that for one year of Anthony Davis? All right, y'all. So here's season number two. Zion is up to an 87 overall, which is dope. Same thing with Brandon Ingram. We got chemistry coming into this year. We brought in Alex Burke, who I'm going to give some minutes to. I'm sorry, Terry Rozier basically fell out of the rotation. Taco Fall, get him up there. We ain't giving him many minutes. Actually, you know what? We're going to send Taco to the G League. I probably should have did that the first his rookie season. I just completely forgot the G League existed. So, this is what our team is looking like. Lonzo Ball did get better, everything. We re-signed him to a four-year, about $60 million contract. And then Brandon Ingram got three years, $80 million. I think those are two very decent deals for how good they are. I mean, the Brandon Ingram may be a little bit of an overpaid now that I'm looking at it. But I had to do what I had to do. I had to match. I did that trade. I can't just leave, let one of those dudes walk. So, I had to match. And I think it was the, the Pistons. Pistons tried to take it from me. So I was just looking at this. Um, Anthony Davis did resign, y'all. He did resign. That's like the first time I've ever seen something like that happen where there was a, the team at the top didn't end up getting a player, but he's back in LA, so they didn't do that trade for no reason. But we started off the season pretty slow, but now we're starting to get it together, and we just beat the Lakers, and then we beat up on the Timberwolves as well. They got Sabash Muhammad. Not, not very good. MVZ Zion Those are not even very amazing numbers either <laughs> And really not that great numbers to be MVP We won almost 60 games though So maybe that's why you add those numbers with us being one of the best teams in the league I guess so Cole Anthony wins rookie of the year Six man went to who? Why is this man This one right here Why is he coming off the bench? They better have MJ in his prime Starting to have Zach Levine coming off the bench. Quit playing with my guy. We we have to definitely look and see who's on that team. Brandon Ingram run most approved. You know how last y'all was saying my boy to head a down year? Well, he said I'm stepping it up. I got my payday now. I'm really about to hoop. And coach to the Steve Clifford. When did Steve Clifford become our coach? I don't I, I I don't know. I'm so out of it. I'm so out of it. Ben Simmons, first team all NBA. Um RJ. RJ really came in and took Zach Levine's starting spot, but Zach Levine averaged 22 off the bench. RJ averaged 20 starting. They better be in the playoffs. They are in the playoffs. They're the eight seed, but we're the one. And LA did not make the playoffs. Imagine that. Making that big old trade. 
spending all your cap, cap space so your starter point guard is Walt Lemon Jr. No disrespect to the Chicago King, but not King of Chicago. You see, he's a king from Chicago, but he's not the king of Chicago. You feel me? But that's your starting PG. Matisse Thibault is your starting shooting guard. Shout out to Clamps God himself, though. Icky. Come on, they they need Rob Palenka got to do be, do better. But we end up having the best record in the league. The Zion Williamson effect. You get Zion, your team is better. So now that we're here in the playoffs, let's make this an eight-man rotation. So our starters get more minutes. Even shout out to Inez Cantor. Because he had a very good year for our team. When I traded for him, I was like, eh, he'll be here for a few years. Then we're not going to re-sign him. We have to consider re-signing Inez Cantor. Player stats. We take a look at Lonzo averaged a double-double. He got his paper. Then he said, I'm another career high free throw percentage. 47% slowly, by the time he retired, he may be a 61% free throw shooter. Baby steps. But he averaged a double-double, 12 assists, 10 points. You know, so shout out to that. He didn't shoot the ball very well. But he also had 12 assists while averaging only two and a half turnovers. To put that into perspective, let's see. I don't let, he let's let the league, by the way. A guy like Russell Westbrook, who usually averaged about 10 assists, he's got three turnovers. So his assist to turnover ratio is six to one. A little bit less than that, but you get what I'm saying. First round, we're going against Minnesota. Again, we talk trash about them having Sebastian Muhammad, and they better not beat us in the series. We're not going to be one of the eight seeds to go down. Nuh-uh, not here. And we go to the second round, and we're going against the Utah Jazz, who had Quinn Snyder win coach of the year last year. Because they have Kyrie Irving on their squad, Marcus Moore Sr., they put together a pretty good roster. So this is not going to be a cakewalk. Even an old Al Jefferson is getting PT, I guess. Game one is a dub. Actually, you know what? I'm not going game by game. If we get eliminated, it is what it is. But we're up to one and I feel, oh, two, two. 3-2, and we get eliminated as the one seed. Again, we are still a very young team, and they got Kyrie Irving running point guard, and he's averaging about 30 in the playoffs on 50% shooting. So things like that happen. You know, we are still a very young team, and honestly, I didn't think we were going to win a championship this year anyway. Zion still got room to grow and everything. So we'll see who do win a championship. The Pacers are in the finals against OKC. Now, the Pacers have KD. So it's KD versus his old squad. And KD won it. Another finals MVP for Kevin Durant in seven. And the game knows a four-point game. Triple-double from Paul George. And KD didn't even have a good game seven. It was Aaron Holiday saving the day in just 15 minutes of play. Big-time players make big-time plays when they number call. All right, player retirement, none of this matters. We have to go straight to the lottery because we do have that Lakers pick. But it's top 10 protected. So we have to hope that they fall out of the top 10. Let's see if they do. They don't. So they keep their first round pick. So I literally know no one in this draft class. So let's see who's in it. Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, Jalen Johnson. A couple Jalens up here. I'm not a guy that watch college ball. I'm not, definitely not a guy to watch high school ball. So all of these names are completely foreign to me. But we end up having the pick number 29. And then we have their next year's pick in the year after that too. Because since we didn't get it this year, we got it next year. But since we were the one seed this year and um, our guys are young, and but they're still being productive, I think we're going to try to make a splash of a deal at the center position. Taco Fall, not very happy with being sent to the G League. I'm sorry, my guy, but I had to do it to you. Let's try to use these first-round picks that we have from the Lakers because since they did make the playoffs, oh, they only one-star value picks. That's kind of weird. A team that didn't make the playoffs. But I'm going to still try my best to put together a trade. Anes Cantor, as I mentioned earlier, was having such a good year for us. But if we can upgrade him to somebody better, we will. And, of course, we got to bring back Zion. I was just about to say, where is Zion? But he's selling his rookie contract. So let's try to put together a massive deal for a very good center. I think the guy I'm going to go after is Nick Vucevic. Um, their team that said they're rebuilding. They got 
John Isaac Mobamba just sitting there. Mobamba's an 84 overall, but he hasn't started a single game because he's behind Vucevic. And they also have Cole Anthony in the works with Markel Fultz. So they're still a very young team. So maybe they'll be willing to trade us Vucevic. That'll be a, a significant upgrade. And I think he'll play well alongside Zion. So let's try to trade these picks. The Lakers pick in the second. And then we're willing to give you what's if we got anything else of value here. Uh, Taco said he won't sign back with us. GG's. We messed up Taco Falls morale. But, um, do I want to give up Emmanuel Moody in this deal? Again, he just had two good years with us. I'm going to see if I can keep him somehow. What's your counter? They don't even have a counter. We'll give you the Lake, the second Lakers pick. Boom! Okay. So, that's a deal. That's a deal. And it's, it's done. That significantly makes us better because as I keep saying, having shooting around Zion Williamson will be key. And Nick Vucevic can shoot. We can also run through him a little bit because he's an above average playmaker at the center position. That's a W. So uh, here we are. I'm also going to bring back Bobby Portis to be our backup center. He just fits more of a backup anyway. He averaged 14 for us in his first season and just 10 in the second season because we end up starting in Nance Cancer. But as a backup center, Bobby Portis, de definitely a W. And we're going to bring back both of these guys, of course. And it's not going to be many free agents on the market, but that's a good thing. We don't have any money anyway. Taco Fall, we're going to throw the qualifying at him. Even though he told me he won't, he will. Because he got no choice. I got them right, all right? Kevin Herter is an unrestricted free agent, and he only wants about $4 million a year. What the heck is... Wait, whoa, whoa. What is... I've never seen this before. What is this? Custom? One year? What does that even mean? I've never seen it blacked out like that before. Does it do that for everybody? Yes. What's going on with 2K? But not like the top guys. I'm so confused. What about with Otto? No. What? Why would it do it for those two guys? I'm not sure. But we do need a backup shooting guard. But So if we can get Kevin Herter on that much of a contract, that's a W. He's, one of the, uh, he's going to be a sniper in this league. And then we also need a backup for, uh, power forward or small forward. You know what? I'm going to let Taco Fall be great. All right, the Warriors offered them a contract. We got two centers on the roster already. The Warriors can have you. Good luck. Steph Curry's going, going to use you nicely, I hope. And we're going to take a look at Taco's stats next season after we win our championship. But we're bringing in a couple players just to fill out the roster. Next thing is player progression. We're probably going to get Christian Wood back, which is cool. And then maybe even Korkmaz. I'm not completely sure. And, yep, Korkmaz, but not Christian Wood. That's fine. 90s overall for our guys, Zion and Brandon Ingram. Vucevic stays the same across the board. Doesn't get worse, doesn't get better. That's cool. Lonzo jumps up a bit. He can now shoot at an A-minus clip. Jerkova is a lot better. Even our guys coming off our bench are getting good. So, I forgot I even had Jalen Smith. So, he's a backup power forward. We don't need Christian Wood. And that's our roster I think it's a championship contender. We're going to take them back to training camp. And we're going to get them shooting more free throws. Yeah. I'm going to need Lonzo Ball to shoot at least 50% this offseason or this regular season. I'm going to also need Jared Culver to shoot 75% upgrades from the previous seasons, especially if we're going to win a championship. We don't want to hack a Zo moment and then we end up losing some games. So we're going to go to free throws, send the whole squad. Jared Culver's at a 76 now. Lonzo's at a 51. <laughs> It's a slow grind. It's a slow grind. And then we're going to send weight camp to Brandon Ingram. Yeah, get a little stronger, B.I. All right, that's it. I'm going to mess around with the rotation. You know how it's going to look anyway. So I'm just going to simulate the games, and I'll be back. 61 win season for us, and Zion wins back-to-back -back MVPs. In 2K, he's living up to the hype this season. He averaged 24, 10, and 5 assists, shooting 60% from the field. Jalen Johnson wins Rookie of the Year. Bo Bo wins Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year, Most Improved, wins Romeo Langford. Sam Cassell, shout out to Sam. He is the Coach of the Year. So we do have some competition out east. The Atlanta Hawks, same record as us. Ja, first team All-NBA. Zion, um, All-Defensive Team. I was just always wondering if anybody else in our team make an All-NBA team, but guess not. So... Hopefully, the final season, if we win this championship, here are the numbers. We saw Zion's, Brandon Ingram, averages 19. Djokovic averages 16. Lonzo steps it up. But did he shoot 
good from the at least 50 percent from the free throw line 54 percent we need to throw a parade 54 percent he almost went up 10 percent points shout out to lonzo he keeps getting better and better and better and better so the whole Nick Vucevic trade, I guess, I mean, it worked out because we won a bunch of games, but he only averaged 11 points for us. That's that's very, very underwhelming. Um, Bobby Portis could have just started and put up that, but whatever, man, whatever. As long as we win a championship this year, I don't care about nothing else. Let's check and see how Bobo, no, 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 not Bobo, Taco Fall performed. He was the starting center on this team. He put up six and 11 a game two blocks he hit some threes he shot 29 percent from the free throw line though not not amazing but the 7-7 beast is getting pt and he's not in the playoffs neither are the lakers again wow bro wow what did they end up there 37 wins that is crazy all right first round of playoffs going against the memphis grizzlies uh, they picked up Hunter instead of Ja Morant. And they probably should have picked up Ja, ja because they got swept here. We're going against Utah again. Some revenge time, baby. Give us some revenge. They we they got Kyrie Irving. They got a whip. But this year, we got better. Vucevic is there. He's bringing Rudy Gobert out of the paint. So Zion can go nuts and dunk on everybody. 39, 9, 8, 3, and 4. What I tell you? Kyrie, they got Drummond now, actually. They got Drummond now. They traded Rudy Gobert for Drummond. They also got um, Shaquille O'Neal's son, Sharif. All right, we're going against Houston in the conference finals. I'm sure they got pretty much the same team because they don't have much money to upgrade it or make many changes. It's a 2-2 series, 3-2 our way, and we're in the finals against the defending champion, Atlanta Hawks. Who is I, Joe? Isaiah Joe? Second round pick. He's a 77 overall. He had a good series for the for them. Chris Paul, not a very good way to end it, but he still put up 16 points per game in the playoffs. All right, the Hawks. The Hawks, baby. Two very young teams going head to head. But they picked up Valanchunas now. That's why Bobo was coming off the bench. They got a squad. Everybody's young, but everybody's also good. Everybody's also good. So let's see how this goes. Uh, we win game one. Luckily for us, we have Lonzo Ball on Trey Young, so he may struggle this series because Lonzo Ball, y'all, 21 assists. Oh, my God. 21 assists for Lonzo in game one. He may mess around and win finals MVP. He do something like that again. Game two, um, 10 assists for him, but we got Zion. Zion's going to win finals MVP. That's how it is. That's how it's going to go. That's if we win. Hold on. Let's win first before we start thinking about finals MVP. 3-1. Hopefully, we don't blow this. And lastly, hopefully, we win. There it is. And Zion does win finals MVP. Huge W for the Pelicans. Now, the last thing I did want to do, I still want to go to the draft lottery because remember, we do have that Lakers pick. I'm going to end the video off after that, but I want to see what number pick we get with theirs. Um, So where are we? It's not there. Hold on. Um... How did the magic... Oh, we traded that pick for Vucevic. Right. Okay, I forgot. So it ended up being an 11th overall pick. But that's it, y'all. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a like. If you got to this point in the video, you are a real OG. And I need you to just comment MVZ for Zion. Most improved player, but for Zion. And I know you got to the end. Because I, I don't know how long this video is, but I, I can guess it's pretty long. So you're a real gangster for that. I'll be back tomorrow. Y'all know the routine, man. We've uploaded six out of seven of the last days, so I'm back on my grind, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Peace.